This demonstration shows how you can use cancel sales order back orders automatically and enforce single shipment to enhance your business. This feature allows you to automatically cancel any quantity that can't be fulfilled due to on-hand quantity shortages during pick confirm or ship confirm. Additionally, you can choose to automatically cancel any remaining open quantity after the first shipment, even if you have the available on-hand quantity to fulfill the order. This is useful in instances where your customer only accepts a single shipment per order. Here is what I am going to show in the demo. Create an order for 100 quantities of an item. And set the order to cancel back ordered lines automatically. Pick release the order when the available quantity is 50. Back order 10 quantities while confirming the pick. Back order 10 quantities while confirming the shipment. Let's go to order management work area to create an order. Now, I am setting the cancel back order to yes for the line. Let's go to the inventory management work area to check the on hand for the item that was ordered. The on hand for the item that is available is 50. Let's go to the Manage Shipment Line page to check the shipment line created for the order. The shipment line is set to cancel the back orders. This value is interfaced from order management and can't be modified in shipping. Now, I am going to pick release the order. As you can see from the confirmation, one line is released to warehouse and one line is cancelled. Now, let's go back to the Manage Shipment Line page to verify the status of the shipment line. One shipment line is cancelled. And one shipment line for 50 quantity is in release to warehouse status. Once the shipment line is cancelled in shipping, the process responses from order fulfillment scheduled process is initiated automatically to update the cancellation details on the fulfillment line. Let's go to the scheduled process work area to check the status of the process that was automatically submitted. The process was completed successfully. There could be cases when this process failed to update the cancellation detail on the order. In those cases, you can resubmit the process manually. We recommend that you set up the process to run on a schedule at regular intervals to process the cancellation details that couldn't be processed when it was initially submitted. Now, let's go back to the order to verify the status of the line. The ordered quantity is updated to 50. 
and the cancelled quantity is updated to 50. A seated cancellation reason, cancel back orders, is used for any cancellations initiated from shipping. The order header amount won't be updated automatically based on the new order quantity. You can manually submit the update sales order total scheduled process to update. Or you can set it up to run on a schedule at regular intervals. Let's go to the scheduled process work area to submit the process manually. The process is submitted. Let's check the order. The order header amount is updated. Additionally, if credit authorizations are applicable for the order lines, the adjust amounts for credit authorization scheduled process should be run to adjust the customer credit amounts based on the new order quantity. Or you can set up the process to run on a schedule at regular intervals. Let's go back to the scheduled process work area to submit the process manually. The process completed successfully. Let's go back to the inventory management work area to confirm the pick and back order some quantities during pick confirmation. Entering the pick quantity as 40 and setting the remaining 10 to be back ordered. Now, let's go back to the Manage Shipment Line page to verify the status of the shipment line. The shipment line with quantity 40 is staged. Other lines are cancelled. Now, Let's go back to the order to verify the status of the line. Order quantity is updated to 40 and cancelled quantity is updated to 60. Now let's close the shipment and back order some quantities during shipment confirmation. Entering the ship quantity as 30 and setting the remaining 10 to be back ordered. The shipment line with quantity 30 is shipped and remaining lines are cancelled. The order quantity is updated to 30 and the cancelled quantity is updated to 70. The line moves to next task, awaiting billing. In the next demo, I'm going to create an order with two lines and set the order to enforce a single shipment. Then, pick and ship one of the order lines. Let's go to order management work area to create the order. Now, setting both the order lines to enforce a single shipment. To enforce a single shipment, you must also set the cancel back order for the line.
Order is submitted. Now let's go to Manage Shipment Line page to pick and ship the order. I'm going to select one of the order lines and pick release the line. The shipment line is staged. Next, I am going to ship the line. The shipment is confirmed. The shipment line is now interfaced and the other shipment line is automatically cancelled. Now, let's go back to the order to verify the status of the lines. One of the line is shipped. The other line is cancelled. Order quantity is updated to zero. And cancelled quantity is updated to 20. Optionally, you can enable the Cancel Back Orders Business Event in the Manage Business Event Trigger Point Setup task. When enabled, an event will be raised when the cancellation is initiated from shipping. I have created an integration in OIC that listens to the event. Here is the instance of the integration that was invoked when the order was cancelled. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.